Okay, so I've seen a lot of booths over the last couple days, uh, and I have to say, this is hands down one of my favorites. Now, some people like modern office furniture, some people don't. I personally am soup. I love super modern office furniture. Uh, right here, what we're looking at is the Rex series. The Rex series uh, you can do as a straight series, uh, as a straight benching, or you can do it as a 120 degree clover, hub, dog bone, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and if we take a look over here, what you see, they have this nice, clean laminate finish. It's a very, very modern driftwood with smoked glass. Now, honestly, if I were going to work at a workstation, I would want it to look exactly like this. All right, so we're going to take a look real quick here at the height adjustable function. The height adjustable uh, lever on this is a little different than what you see. Usually you see all these buttons. This, very clean. Just a little tap and it comes up nice and smooth. Very nicely engineered. I don't like to fawn about this office, you know, office furniture too much. I like to stay neutral, but I can't stay neutral. This is, this is nice stuff. So one of the things you're going to find with a lot of these height adjustable desks is that your desk goes up and down, but your storage stays on the ground. This is one of the few designs that I've seen where your storage comes with you as you bring the, the desk up and down. And a nice touch is this thin, low profile, almost just a slim line uh, drawer. Uh, you got your dual USBs, which feed right into your computer. And you also have a phone charger, which you wouldn't even know it was here if there wasn't this little indicator. Set your phone right here, it charges. Okay, so one of the things that I really like about this series is wire management, okay? If you see your typical benching series, you have to take Velcro or you have to take some kind of ridiculous contraption and you have to tuck all your wires up and half the time it doesn't get done, especially if people are moving around, so you end up with a jungle. Come on down here real quick, let's take a look at this. <laughs> okay, so when you look at, under your typical height adjustable desk, what you'll find is this hodgepodge of wires just hanging down everywhere. Uh, this is a problem that they have completely solved. Check out this cover right here. It comes right down. All your wires, both for the height adjustable and power for your computers, are all concealed. And if you have to move them around, you just pull this down, rearrange things as needed, and connect it back. It connects up here with earth magnets. Very seamless, very cool. Okay, the next thing we're gonna look at here is the work wall. What this is, is this is a height adjustable unit that they custom make for private offices. Um, the height adjustable industry uh, has a ton of look-alikes that pretty much one or the other do the same thing. But what they've done is they've kind of put their own stamp on it where not only do you not have the front panel right here, which usually has your buttons, you have a smooth inline button right here, which does not extrude at all. It's right there smooth with the surface, doesn't take up any room. And when we lift this up, you can kind of you can kind of get a feel that there's no legs touching the ground. This is built right into the case goods sides. So this is, this, the height adjustable is, con is concealed. It's right up against the wall. You have a tack board in the back and it has a cantilever support forward, which makes for a very clean, uninterrupted look. There's nothing touching your floor. And believe it or not, this is a freestanding piece. This is not connected to the wall at all. So they come in, custom build this, but it's not, it does not have to necessarily become a part of your office. So it can grow, it can move, it can be repurposed. All right, I'm here with Bruce Wells. He's the design team leader for InnoVent. InnoVent is a Chicago-based company. They t specialize in tailored solutions for height adjustable tables and workstations. Uh, Bruce, tell me a little bit about the Rex series that we got here. So uh, this product line came about, um, our, our genesis really was in uh, hot adjustable benching systems and benching systems for really high-tech environments, right? Like all of our clients up until 2008 were financial trading floors and command and control centers, really, really high-tech furniture, very, very specialized. 
Um, our growth and success put us in a position where we were open to a much wider uh, marketplace. So, you know, fashion houses and media firms and tech firms started coming to us because of our reputation and venturing in that other category, but they didn't have the same requirements. Like they didn't have a need for storing three or four PCs and having eight screens per desk. They wanted something that was more uh, cosmopolitan, a little bit more uh, um, uh, typical in terms of technology requirements, but they wanted to take from our experience in being so good at that other type of product. So Rex was our entry into a market that we'd already been in for 20 years, but it was our entry into a different price point, a different customer profile. Um, so we could compete more, we would compete more against the, you know, the typical major manufacturers without having to be so focused on technology intensive environments. So that's the real, that's why we came out with this. Uh, the good news is even our existing financial clients and other clients, they also had a, had a need for this type of furniture elsewhere in their spaces. So they immediately adopted it without without any question, because they trusted us, they appreciate our, our, our design details and our engineering. Uh, but at the same time, it opened the door for us to be participating in a lot, a lot, much wider array of projects, both here in Chicago and New York. Very nice, very nice. Um, so tell me a little bit about the design process. Yep. What, how did, what, what did you do in terms of going about <laughs> figuring out right. what would be needed for this segment? So uh, we, we partner with a lot of major design firms in New York. That's where our head office is for, the, for designers in New York. And basically we just, we just audited a whole bunch of designers in New York and said, you guys have now been living with and, and watching your clients buy furniture from different manufacturers that are high adjustable. Uh, tell us what you've experienced that's, that's good and that's bad and what you'd like to see changed. And designers are designers. They have, their, their first thing was, all the products that they see get used in the marketplace are adjustable height, they're messy. Right. But the cabling is just always falling down the back and when the work surface goes up, everything is exposed and it's a mess. Um, they found that even the stuff underneath the desk was exposed and it just created, it, it, it started to ruin their vision of what the space was supposed to look like. So they were, they were very, uh, very much fixated on find a way to make the cabling neater, neater tidier and find any way to get the, the junk off the floor in that sense. Uh, another thing they said was, because a desk is adjustable in height, so much more of the structure of the, of the desk is visible gotcha. uh, when the work surface goes up. When the work surface is down, everything's below the work surface. Right. When it's up, all of a sudden the structure of the product is visible. The jungle vines behind the desk. The, the physical structure of the furniture, the, 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 the steel, the aluminum, uh, and all the components that actually hold it together became visible and a lot of products didn't really take that into consideration. Um, so you start to see just the unwanted brackets and, and screw heads and other types of details that, you know, that annoys a designer. Um, so we tried to take that into consideration as well. So when you look at this product, even when it's raised up in its opposition, there's no visible hardware, there's no visible brackets. Everything looks like it's almost purpose built for that particular sort of style. So it's, it's, it, it looks different in that sense, much cleaner look. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's take a look at some of the individual features uh, of this line. Okay. Um, I noticed that one of the things that was striking to me is that your the, the button or the height adjustable unit is a little bit different than what you see in a lot of the different um, in a lot of the different systems. Right. Um, and if you want to zoom in here real quick, you can you can see that you have not only just an up and down paddle uh, with inches down to the tenth of an inch, but you also have uh, it, it looks like a kind of a a Bluetooth yeah. um, a pairing device. So, right. so how does that work? So uh, a lot of desks these days are uh, not permanent address. I mean, the ability to store uh, preset heights for your favorite locations is that's been around for a long time. Uh, but when in offices where you're moving locations regularly, like unassigned right. seating offices, you want to be able to essentially store that data on your phone, so when you go to a different location tomorrow or the next day, that travels with you, so you don't have to go back and reprogram the desk. It's all, it goes with you in the phone. That's what you're just looking at. Gotcha. Okay. Very, yeah. very interesting. Okay. And um, one thing I noticed that's kind of a, a, a different uh, take on the height adjustable is most of, most companies I've seen uh, have been they've been handling the ped situation with a mobile ped that yeah. sits on the ground. Right. So I noticed this is connected. Um, is there was there any particular reason that you decided right. to do it that way? Uh, more of the same. Um, when the desk goes up, the clutter goes up with it. Gotcha. Uh, as opposed to it now being all just left on the floor. So 
uh, in addition to that, some people actually stand at their desks for extended periods of time, right. you know, hours at a time. And when they want to open their drawer, they don't have to reach down and bang their chin on the work surface because it's way down here. They yeah. just, they just the, the, the storage goes up with them. It's a common sense feature, if you ask me. That's fine. Uh, but it's a very popular feature we're doing on most of our products now. Excellent. Yeah. Um, you know, it's funny. I've actually seen somebody do that, bump their chin on the desk. Right. Yeah. Uh, what's the bullseye? Uh, so Innovant this year launched, uh, just at the show, uh, a new product that uh, takes advantage of wireless charging. Wireless charging now is... Uh, uh, since Apple joined the Qi Consortium, uh, has made wireless charging a very, very popular feature. You're going to see that in a lot of showrooms. Yeah. Uh, we took advantage of that and we partnered with a company out of Holland called Zens to uh, actually develop and create an app that allows individuals to not only charge their phone when they come to a, when they come to a desk, but it also physically, or sorry, not physically, it actually, it logs them into this desk. So this desk now becomes a reserved desk for that user. Um, when you don't have assigned seating, you don't know who's sitting in the, you don't, how many desks are going to be full at the beginning of the day or the end of the day. You basically have to guess right now. If you actually have an app that fit, you know, shows you what desks are assigned or unassigned at that, at that moment, um, it helps you. You don't have to walk an extra flight of stairs when you know that there's available desks there. So that's what that does. In addition to just giving you a charge, a top-up charge all the time, it also provides companies with the ability to then allow people to find locations that are available and find friends and peers. Peer locating is huge in unassigned desking. Because gotcha. you don't know where anyone is. That makes sense. Um, so, and sometimes their phone is on silent and you can't even call them. So um, having the ability to actually see where you're sitting, for example, I can just find you, I can locate you just on my phone based on where you've logged in. Wow, that's fantastic. I, I mean, I can, if you're running a team, God, that's almost essential. It's almost the biggest drawback, I would say, to the, to the hoteling kind of um, right. environment, I mean, but that solves the problem. If four of us are working on a project together, we can basically look at the map on our phone, find four desks that are all together, and go to those desks and book them for ourselves. Fantastic. It's a really, really great app. So all the information is available on our website. All right, fantastic. Well, Bruce, I appreciate your time today. Thanks for talking to us, yeah. and I'll see you next year. Okay. All right, thanks a lot.